and welcome back to From A to Zoo, where we talk about different things you might see or hear about when you're here at the zoo. And since we have gotten some nice snowfall lately, we're going to talk a little bit about tracks that you might find in the snow at your own home and how to identify them. So some common tracks that you might find at your home if you were living in the city or even a little bit more towards the country around here would be rabbits, possum, raccoon, lots of different kinds of birds. Um, you might even see some coyote or even a domestic cat or dog. Um, but the way that you can kind of tell what's what is by their tracks. So if you're ever interested in figuring out what kind of tracks um, the visitors that are visiting your home or your property are, a good thing to do would be to get a field guide of tracks so that you can study them and determine who has been visiting. Wendy wants to tell you a little bit about what her tracks would look like and she has really interesting feet where two toes face forward and two toes face backwards. It's called zygodactyl and that is an adaption that parrots would have in the wild to climb trees and hang on to things and manipulate fruit and nuts and seeds and hard things that they want to crack open with that really strong beak. So it would look something kind of like this. If you find any interesting tracks around your house or your property or even out on a hike, share some photos with us. We would love to see them and we would love to know what you have found.